There are a few ways to sew on a sleeve. I'm going to show you the technique I've been using in pretty much all of my videos that you've seen for the past two weeks. Now you're going to create a sleeve using your own top or a top that you've previously made. Um, so grab that. So this is the fabric that I'm going to be using for the sleeve, just so you guys can see, um, I guess, the actual um, hem lines and things like that. So grab your extra fabric or the fabric that you're going to be using to sew on your top or bodice. Now lay the top on top of your fabric for the sleeve. And you're actually going to want to pin your top down to your fabric or if you're using a pattern paper, which of course, I don't use any patterns, but if you are, just pin it down to that um, so it does not move. Draw a curve around the armhole on the fabric and make sure that your sleeve um, is facing the wrong sides up. So you're not drawing on the actual side that's gonna be facing out what people can see. Now draw a line from the piece that will go over your shoulder. This should be as long as you want it to be. Now you're gonna need to draw a line at the end. Um, and this is gonna be half the measurement of how wide you want your wrist to be. Um, so at the end of the sleeve, don't forget to add a little bit of seam allowance for some wiggle room. Now you're also going to need to draw about half an inch um, at the bottom of your armhole for seam allowance. Then you're going to connect the seam allowance line um, with the line at the end of your sleeve. All right, so move the top away from your sleeve. Here I'm just making my lines a little bit darker so that way I can see them when I sew. Okay, so now you're gonna fold along the top line. Once you have that folded, you're gonna cut out. Um, you can definitely pin down your fabric so it doesn't move, but this sleeve should be one piece. Again, you're just gonna fold along the top line and then pin your fabric down so when you're cutting it out, it does not move around. And then once you're done, of course, you're going to pin at the raw edges and then you're going to sew along the bottom. All right, now go to your sewing machine. I'm just using a regular stitch here um, to baste it together and then I'll go back and hem it with a zigzag stitch. Once you're done hemming it and um, finishing off the raw edges, it should look like this. And these are the two pieces that you should end up with, sleeve and top. <laughs> All right, and so that's how you create a sleeve. If you guys wanna figure out how to attach your sleeve, just check out my next video that I'm gonna have uploaded. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any suggestions, comment below. And of course, I am on Instagram and Twitter, so I will see you guys in my next video.